Steel, the first mini steel plant of Odisha is located at Gundichapara of Dhenkanal district. As on today, the plant has been requiring 25,625 cubic meters of water per annum. After the expansion of the plant, the volume of water consumption would be increased to 55,265 cubic meters annually. The demand for water may result to various problems such as depletion in groundwater resources, long-term decline in water table and other related problems. So the above measures should be taken up right now to solve the problems which may occur in the future. According to the advice of Central Groundwater Board, EP Steel has implemented rainwater harvesting practices in its premises. The existing capacity of rainwater harvesting is 24,000 cubic meter per annum, but very soon it will be enhanced to a volume of about 60,000 cubic meter rainwater every year. To fulfill the need of industrial use of water, the company was spending a very huge amount in procuring water. The investment on rainwater harvesting project has become an eye opener for the plant and it will also encourage the other steel plants to implement their own projects. Now the plant is self-sufficient to collect its required water for industrial use by rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is the technique of collection and storage of rainwater at surface or in subsurface water bearing zones before it is lost as surface runoff. Rainwater can be harnessed at a time when it is surplus and utilized at the time of need. Groundwater reservoir is augmented at a rate exceeding that under natural conditions and conservation of water is the judicious use of water to save water for the future use. Above measures are the need of the hour as the demand for water specifically groundwater has increased and will be increased many times in future. Rainwater is being harvested from the rooftop of the shed of SMS steel melting shop. Gutter is fitted beneath the edge of the roof. Rainwater falling on the roof is being channelized through gutter and MS pipe, an open channel to the storage ponds. The rainwater collected in the tank is directly used for plant operation. EP Steel has made one storage tank with three number of compartments with a total of 552 cubic meter storage capacity. Tanks are required to store the rooftop rainwater to be generated. The volume of tank depends upon the following factors rooftop area, intensity and duration of rainfall, frequency or the amount of pumping from the tank for use. The rooftop area for individual shed has been calculated. The average maximum daily rainfall of the area is around 100 millimeters. So the tank is designed with a daily max rainfall for 100 millimeters. The volume of rainwater that will be generated with 100 mm rainfall is 434 cubic meter. So the storage tank should be 434 cubic meter capacity.
since the roof of the shed is sloping in opposite direction, it is suggested to construct two number of storage tanks of equal capacity, one on each side of the shed. The combined capacity should be 434 cubic meter. The dimension and their location depends upon the suitability of space. As the rainwater is meant for direct use, the bottom of the tank should be paved. The rolling mill one has two number of tanks, that is, TMT tank with 195 cubic meter capacity and mill tank with 252 cubic meter capacity. These two tanks can be used to store rainwater. Open land in EP steep also generate good amount of surface runoff. The plant has already constructed two number of rainwater storage ponds to store the surface runoff. Rainwater Storage Pond 1 The storage pond is located at the lowest surface elevation inside the plant premises. It is a naked pond. Rainwater Storage Pond 2 The pond is located behind the column. It is at the low-lying area. The plant has implemented rainwater harvesting practices in its premises. Efforts are being made to harvest surface runoff of 20,500 cubic meters through storage pond 1 annually. More ponds are also being developed for this purpose. The harvested water will be used for plant operations and the stress on groundwater will be reduced. <laughs>